Hi, I'm Joni Grill-Dashoff. I was asked to be the uh, WISPIS division and gave myself the job as site selection administrator, which turned out to be for two elections. And as much as I can do lab work, I can. So clone myself, so that is why Patrick Malloy was asked to handle all the NASFIC at Khan. And I would like to commend him and my staff for their diligent hours of work here, and more importantly, to the five bidding committees when running an excessively civil campaign and sticking to the merits of their proposed sites. And I wish every one of you could have been a winner because you all deserved it. And the margin of victory, as demonstrated in the forthcoming slides, will show that the voting membership also thought all of you in general were wonderful sites to be. Um, the other thing, wearing my former treasurer hat, having definitely interested parties from overseas, I insisted that we have an online payment system to minimize foreign currency exchange problems. I would like to report that only 50% of the use came from outside the United States and the other 50% came from U.S. people, which means that online payment is the monetary system of the future. And I encourage every future Worldcon that must administer a site selection to enable online payment for those reasons. Um, moving on to the actual numbers for the 2015 Worldcon site selection, there were, sorry, there were a total of 1,348 1, ballots cast, of which one 1,328 uh, indicated preference, therefore 665 ballots were required for to declare a winner. Um, Did you get that up? <laughs> I, I, I would like to commend Patrick on having the Excel file which made the record keeping quick and sending off the message to the business meeting last night enabling Don to do this today. And newsletter also has it. Uh, do not know the tissue. What? Well, I can read the. Oh, um, and obviously the voting memberships took this election seriously. The number of candidates as write in was as minimal as possible, just about. There were um, one vote for Xerxes in 2010, <laughs> one for Slab City, one for Pyongyang, yeah. um, two for Minneapolis in some variation. <laughs> there was a Cokie County, which we think was a misspelling for Cook, but we're not sure. There was a vote for Boston, New Zealand, one that didn't really name who their write-in was, they just checked the write-in box. <laughs> <laughs> there were two for Locust Grove, Virginia, but none for Peggy Ray's backyard. <laughs> oh, wait, um, somehow we have another, okay, so there was one for Minneapolis in 1873, one for Minneapolis in 73, and three for Minneapolis, no, stand, no year designation. For Boston Christmas 2020, there were a total of three. <laughs> there were three invalid ballots. Believe me, they were invalid. <laughs> there were a restrained number of seven for none of the above. Uh, oh, the no preference total was 20. And on the first round, Orlando had 304, Spokane had 470, and Helsinki had 528 
But remember I said we needed 665 to win. So we threw out all those minor ballots less than 50, which actually was less than 20. Well, and no preference never is a side to start with. So on the second ballot, hey, you went too far then. Um, on the second ballot, we ended up with 27 no preference, um, 307 for Orlando, 481 total for Spokane, and 533 for Helsinki, with 661 still needed to win. So we redistributed Orlando, having the least number of second ballot votes. And at that point, Spokane, excuse me, Helsinki had 610, and Spokane had 645, and was declared the winner because they had more than 628. You will note the margin of victory was 35 votes. If you did not notice, on the NASFIC 2014, the margin of victory was 21. That's what I meant about fandom really liked all the sites proposed. Um, the committees were given the opportunity to inspect every ballot, so we are all assured that the count is correct. Um, a well-fought campaign. Think again about proposing your city for another time. And for those who have now won and have years of work ahead of them, condolences <laughs> and congratulations to Spikan, who I presume now has a, oh wait, I get to have any questions on the actual balloting, and then Spokane will have an opportunity to present their, um, their program. I, Are there any questions? I wish to commend the, the, the site selection crew and the ballots. Oh, okay. yes. Is there any objection to amending the site selection crew and ordering the ballots destroyed? Seeing no objection, I uh, recommend it to you for the job. I would also like to commend Bill Parker in particular and all of Texas for truly setting up escrow accounts. All of the money are in the two escrow accounts. I have signatory power and the money will be distributed as fast as this weekend's checks clear. And so they will be able to do as they need to um, for that. Uh, and after we declare the business meeting closed, Spokane, uh, like Detroit, will be on the site selection space that went for Worldcon. Are there any other questions? Seeing none, I yield to Spokane itself. Thank you.